Hi everyone and welcome back to Shell Slam Home. Well today guys I'm excited to share a decorate with me for Easter for 2023. I hope you enjoy. In today's video, I am doing part one of my Decorate With Me series for Easter. We're going to start first of all in my breakfast area. And after giving it a very good clean down, I was really excited to use those beautiful lace napkins that I picked up from TK Maxx last week. I'm going to start by setting the table with these beautiful creamy white plates that I recently picked up from Kmart. I love how they have that nail head trim around them. I'm then going to team them up with these pretty pink and white check plates that are part of the Target Easter collection this year. Remember in my last video, I shared my TK Maxx Easter haul and I had these beautiful lace napkins. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to style them with these cute little rustic bunny ear napkin rings that I picked up from Big W. I couldn't wait to share these with you guys. I think they look so cute. drawn to lace at the moment guys. I love that romantic Victorian feel about lace and I love teaming it up for my Easter decor. Now I have a DIY project coming up very soon in regards to lace for Easter so if that's something that may interest you don't forget to tap your notification bells so you'll be aware when I upload that. Now continuing with the lace theme, I added this rustic tray first of all and I had this cute lace bunny that I picked up from TK Maxx last year. Now on my breakfast bench, I love keeping these cushions out all year round but I love to add one that is per the season. So I picked up last week at TK Maxx this gorgeous lace bunny cushion and I think it just goes perfectly in this spot. Now at the end of my little breakfast bench, I added these two cross lanterns. Now I got these last year guys at Pillow Talk, but I know that they're still at Pillow Talk currently. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some little bunnies inside. So I then headed into my kitchen and I'm going to start on my hot plates. What I did is I took each of the elements off guys, they were well overdue for a clean and I soaked them in some soapy water for about a half an hour before I started to decorate. Now guys, I didn't have any steel wool at the time, so I'm planning on re-cleaning these again. They came out good, but I really want to get everything off them.
Now I like to keep this little tray in the center of my hot plate and on top I've added this cute little vase. Now guys, Kmart just released these beautiful hobnail vases. There's a large and a small that I recently picked up. Now the small one I'm going to use for my baking sets to be placed inside and these ones from TK Maxx last year are the Easter range. I'm going to add to my chopping boards this adorable pink tray bunny, which was also from TK Maxx last year. Now above my range hood, I picked up recently from Target this beautiful rattan bunny wreath. I really love everything rattan at the moment guys and I teamed it up with these cute little pink bunnies that I recently picked up from the reject shop. Also from the reject shop, I added this cute little welcome sign to my pantry door. I then got out two of my Ray Dunn mugs and added the little toppers to them. I think these are so cute. Now behind my flower canisters, I added this cute little carrot patch sign, which is also from the Reject Shop. Guys, if you're in Australia, I definitely recommend checking out the Reject Shop this year for Easter decor. They have the cutest stuff. I then wanted to create a little vignette on my kitchen island. So I started with this rustic tray, which is from Early Settler Furniture. I then brought in my beautiful bouquet of flowers that I made myself. The vase is actually from TK Maxx. I added this adorable blue and white bunny, also from TK Maxx, and then teamed it up with this little pink bunny jar, which was from Kmart last year. The look you had upon your face when I said goodbye. Days without water and long sun so grown. I also added this cute little treats canister from Kmart last year to my Ray Dunn mugs. Get where we are, and it's all for you. It's all for you. It's all for you. It's all for you. I did it all for you. It's all for you. It's all for you. It's all for you. If you're new to my channel, I'd love to welcome you here. My name's Michelle, but most people call me Shell, and I'm the creator of Shell's Glam Home. I'm an Australian YouTuber who absolutely loves sharing DIY projects, inspirational ideas, and home tours of my home. So if that's something that may interest you, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button so you can become a part of Shell's Glam Home family. Leave me a comment down below if you've started decorating for Easter already.
So thank you so much for watching guys. I truly hope you've been inspired to start decorating for Easter this year. Now don't forget this is just part one. Part two will be next week guys where I'm going to decorate not one but two parts of my entryway. So don't forget to tap your notification bells so you'll be aware when I upload that. I hope you all have a wonderful week and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.